Welcome to London Cell Defence Academy. The purpose of this video is to educate our elderly of how they can defend themselves. For this purpose we're using a basic walking stick and we're going to show you how you can use your stick as self-defence weapon. You need to use your stick and you can't actually walk without it. This is a very different scenario. Okay? We need to make sure if you have to use the stick for walking and you, the only thing that you may do is to shift your weight to the other side and use the stick as a weapon, that's great. But if you have more mobility, you can use the stick for various techniques. Now, when it comes to any sort of attack, you need to make sure that you have a good distance from your attacker. If I'm too close, I'm in a vulnerable place. The stick itself can be used as a weapon. For him to get through to me, he needs to grab this, okay? So first point of contact will be the stick itself. Now you can use the stick to actually disable his body posture and take him down. So what does that mean? Is I'm gonna move him to the side and use this end of the stick as a striking point to actually take him down on the ground and then I can walk away or if I have to, I'm gonna use it as a striking weapon. So this would be our first technique. First, you're controlling the distance and you're moving to the side so you disable his body posture here and then you strike him with this hip towards his face and taking him down. You need to make sure that you are confident to be able to do this technique. So what is very important in here is to practice, practice, practice. If you get threatened and scared, you won't be able to do anything. Breathing is the most important thing. Controlling the distance is the second important thing. You are then able to do the technique in there. The second technique that we're using with the stick is pin your attacker in one place. This could be done with your stick or with your foot. He's concentrating on your wallet in here. You pin him down and he's got nowhere to go. So very simply, he's going for your wallet. You just get here, pin and down, okay? And then walk away. Our attacker is angry, uh, maybe we didn't comply or they have some sort of issue and they want to strike us, they want to punch us in the face. Oh, this is, this is what they want to do, they really want to get you in the face. So you're using this as a, to guide this out, okay? Before the, this comes in, now if he's disabled, it's, this is not going to be very strong, okay? You just go here, bang, and then using this to strike him down, okay? very easy so you have to use the end that you use for the for the holding so you actually when he's punching in you, you're using this in here and you're hiding your head under the elbow so really yeah. if he's punching with the other hand he's just slipping through he can't get through to me if I'm there without it he can get through to me getting there here okay and now I'm using the other part to actually strike him take him down okay we're gonna use our stick as a weapon and a range finder as well so I don't want him to get close to me keeping this out keeping his space out now he's probably stronger than me so I'm gonna use leverage in this situation I'm turning trapping this wrist in here and getting some space between us This stick is made out of metal, so it's quite a strong one. Yours might be made out of wood, or you might have an umbrella, but it's still the same principle. This is gonna be very slow. He's gonna see that come in, and it takes a long time for me to set up. So I want short, sharp movements. I'm gonna keep my stick out in front of me to keep that space, and if he steps in, I'm just gonna jab him in the face, in the nose, in the mouth, in the eyes. Any of that, it's gonna hurt. It's really, he's not gonna see it coming, and it's really gonna upset his rhythm. 